Hello, welcome back to my kitchen and today I am going to make a really easy delicious dish called curry. Curry is a soup made out of chickpea flour and yogurt and it's my husband's favorite vegetarian dish. Curry is made in two phases. For the first phase we need a cup of yogurt, full fat yogurt. half a cup of chick, chickpea flour, teaspoon of salt, we'll check for salt again, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of minced ginger and garlic. To this I'm going to add water. I added 5 cups of water and I'm going to blend it now. Let's check for lumps. Absolutely none. It's totally blended. So now it's ready to go on the stove. So turn on the heat and to this I'm going to add my 8 green chilies. This is the only spice this is the only spicy thing in this curry. I'm going to add a little bit of more turmeric powder. My curry is boiling away and now I'm going to lower the heat and put it on simmer for at least an hour. And it's going to turn out so yummy. While my curry is cooking away, we are going to make pakoris. So for pakoris, we need a cup of basin, finely chopped, the cilantro and red onions. To the basin I'm going to add baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of chili pepper. A oh, little bit more. That's it. The basin is whipped. To this I'm going to add cilantro and red onions. My pakoras are going to be so yummy. You can put any kind of vegetables you want. Sometimes I put spinach in it. Curry is cooking away. It's boiling. And in this pan I've heated the oil and it's almost there. I'm going to cook my pakoras for five minutes on each side. Heat is low so it cooks through. It took 45 minutes to cook the curry and curry is done. My pakoras are done. It's just uh, now I'm going to assemble them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak them in lukewarm water. The reason why I'm doing this is if you don't soak the pakoras in lukewarm water, it will totally soak up your karhi. I'm adding a little bit of salt to the water. I've turned on the heat and it's simmering. So we're just gonna give it two minutes so the pakoras can get happy in karhi. And it's going to turn out totally delicious. There you go. Now I'm going to turn off the heat. And I'll... Next step and the last step will be baghar. I heated the oil. Which I took from the pakora frying thing. And I put a big pinch of cumin seed. To this I'm going to add 3 dried red chilies. ready and it goes there you go so thank you for watching all my videos and recipes and I'll see you again.